Hello mate and welcome to another devlog. In this one I'm just going to quickly talk about some of the things I've done. You can see I've got some weird stuff going on here that I'm going to talk about. But first things first, in my battle card mini game, what I've done is I have created a... Where did I put it? Up here somewhere. <laughs> my um, battle cards are now a user defined displayable, which is up the top here. Um, and it is just basically the same information that is contained within my um, previous battle cards. But now what I've done is if I go into the game and just quickly skip through all of this dialogue and then we click on and, and we play cards. Now you can see the cards look basically identical to what they did before. But now because they're user defined displayable, I can basically just um, scale them using... Um, simple Rempi screen scaling um, to whatever size I want them to be without having to faff around with changing a million and one variables. So um, that is all good and I've also made it so that this one is, it, as you can see it gets smaller when it goes in there, bigger when it goes in there, but it's the same sprite, it's just scaled in this window to be bigger than this one. And if we had more than one card in our deck then we'd be able to add up to three cards to our deck. And then as you can um, possibly hear, in fact, if I turn on the sound, you can hear that I've got some music in the background of this now as well. So if we send our card to battle, you can see that now everything is much more readable, scaled a lot better. And we can use our stalk attack. And there you go. So we've got a color wrong there um, somewhere, but that's not a problem. I can fix that. Um, so the other thing I've done is I have created a custom function for displaying text because I don't want this to be like normal Rempire show text click to continue um, thing. Uh, as you can see here I've got a function called deliver message and it just accepts the who and what variables the same as the say screen does. Um, so in this case these are narrations so there's no who and then the text is there. And then in here we have my deliver message script. As you can see, all it does is um, it says what we want on the screen and then it just shows a continue button on the screen, which is here. Uh, and then we just click on the continue button and then it will um, end that piece of text basically. So it is a bit of a sort of a heavy handed way of doing things, but I just want everything to be fully customizable until I decide on the final look for everything. So that's what I've done effectively. Um, I'm just trying to think if there are any more additions to the game that I've added. Um, as you can see, there's no background screen here at the moment because I have a variable that says if it is a cutscene, then don't put anything of any of the main game sort of UI stuff in the background but and then when we come out to here if we were to talk to now as you can see then we get dialogue um, and we can see everything in the background so again um, very useful I don't think you've seen this location yet this is like a terrace um, out the back and yeah so we've got um, just these number of locations at the moment I'm going to draw more locations as and when I get time to do it but that's basically it and as far as progress this weekend I've had some uh, university work to do so I've had to uh, limit the amount of uh, gobbins that I've done for my game this weekend but there you go so uh, thanks very much for watching that guys I hope you found that useful let me know anything in the comments below and I'll see you in the next one but until then you take damn good care of yourselves all right bye bye